Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about studying medicine or MBBS in Heidelberg University. We will first go through some of the quick facts about the university and its medical faculty and then we will check the application process and the list of required documents in very detail. So first go through the quick facts. The University of Heidelberg is situated in Heidelberg city of Germany and it was founded in 1386. The Heidelberg city itself is a very beautiful city with almost 1 lakh and 60 uh, thousand people and it is situated in the Baden-Württemberg state of Germany. If we talk about the medical faculty of, of Heidelberg University, it is one of the oldest medical faculty uh, with almost 600 years of teaching and educating um, experience. Now, the medical degree or MBBS degree at Heidelberg University consists of 12 semester and three months, which means six years and three months. And these six years and three months are further divided into preclinical studies, which consists of two years, then the um, clinical studies, which consists of three years and one year of uh, practical, uh, which is at the end of the clinical studies. Now, the degree starts in winter semester, which, which means September or October of each year. And the application period is from May to 15th of July, which, which is the deadline. So you have to complete the application process before 15th of July. In the next section, we will go through the application process, which consists of two steps and the list of required documents. So first check the application process at University of Heidelberg. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are two steps. So first step starts with your application at the UniAssist portal. UniAssist portal uh, is one portal where you have to first register yourself and then apply for the um, medicine at University of Heidelberg online. This portal, if you are not uh, familiar with this portal, there is another video. You can check that uh, video, how you can register and how you can apply uh, uh, through this portal. So you complete first the online application and submit it on the UniAssist portal. After you have submitted your application, you have to take the printout of PDF application form. You have to sign it and send it to UniAssist along with all the other academic documents and certificates. Now all the documents, including all the ac academic documents must be certified. There are different certifying uh, authorities through which you can uh, get the document certified. For example, you can visit the German consulate or German embassy of your country and get your document certified. If it's not possible for you, then you can also get your document certified from the notary public. Now, if your documents are not available in English language or German language, let's say your uh, school leaving certificate your 10th grade, 12th grade, A level is um, always in English language, but if you're you are attending some local curriculum at your school and the, your school has issued you some certificate that is not in English or German language, then you have to get a certified translation of these documents in English or German language. Now, when you do this translation, you have to make sure that it is certified not a simple translator who is not certified can simply translate your documents and you send these documents to university uh, or the uni assist that will not work you have to make sure that the translator or the translation agency is certified now you have to send all these certified documents in hard copy form to uni assist before the 1st of July. And uni assist will take its time, which can be two weeks, which can be four to six weeks. Uh, and they will evaluate your application document and they will issue you one for proofings documentation, which is a preliminary uh, evaluation of your academic documents. 
and they will send this VPD to the applicant once they have evaluated your academic documents. So this VPD will be sent to you at the end of step one of the application process. Now let's move to the step two. Now you have to submit an online application on the website of University of Heidelberg. I have provided the link for the online application. You can check the um, description of this video to get that link. Um, once you have submitted your uh, online application at the University of Heidelberg, you have to, you will be given an option to generate a PDF of your application form. You uh, create the PDF, save it on, on your computer so that you can uh, check, uh, refer to it if required at a later stage. Take the printout of it, sign it and send it to the University of Heidelberg together with all your other academic documents and certificates. Now, which document and certificates you need to send to uh, University of Heidelberg, we will go in the next section. And you have to do this uh, between 15th of May until 15th of July. The important thing is that you have to send the original VPD that you have received at the end of uh, step one of uh, application process from UniAssist. And the thing here is that original VPD can be sent to the University of Heidelberg until 22nd of July. So there is one more week for you to send this original VPD. All your remaining certificates and documents must be sent until 15th of July, but you can send the VPD, original VPD until 22nd of July. Now let's go through the list of documents that you have to send to University of Heidelberg in step two of your application. Now the very important document is the, the VPD issued by UniAssist at the end of step one. Please make sure that you send the original VPD. If you are living um, outside of Germany, then UniAssist will send this document to you through post and it will take uh, two, three weeks till you get it. So if you can provide UniAssist someone who is living in Germany, uh, the address of that person, then the, that person can receive this document like within two, three days and you can send um, or he or she can send on your behalf, behalf to the University of Heidelberg if, it is, um, if you need it a bit quickly. Now, you need to send the academic certificates which, are, which can be A-level if you are, are following um, British curriculum or your local curriculum if it is of 12 year, then you have to send the 10th and 12th grade certificate, uh, whatever you get from the from your school. Now in some, uni, uh, some countries, uh, there is uh, an entrance exam or admission exam uh, conducted by different universities. Uh, if you have taken part in any of the entrance exam, uh, then you have to send it also. Um, it does not apply to all the students, but it does apply to those students uh, uh, for those countries where there is an entrance exam conducted by the university. Now, if you have completed your 12th grade certificate and that is uh, considered not equivalent with the German school leaving certificate, then you have to go for um, student colleague. And at the end of student colleague, uh, you have to take one exam, which is called Feststellungsprüfung. Uh, you have to include the grades of uh, Feststellungsprüfung or FSP also in your application documents. And I have written it if applicable because uh, if you are uh, coming from a British curriculum or if you have completed A levels, then it's not uh, you are not required to take this uh, foundation course or student colleague, and you will not be requiring the Feststellungsprüfung grades. Higher education certificate. If you have completed any semester one or two uh, at your home country at a university related to your 
um, related to medicine or some other field, then you, it is recommended that you also include this uh, transcript or certificate, uh, whatever you have received from your university after completing one, two, or three, three or whatever semesters. Now, there is another uh, test which is conducted specifically for foreign applicants or international applicants. You have to send, take part in test AS. Uh, exam and you have to send the result of test AS. Um, test AS exam can be um, taken at your home country. You can check the website of test AS um, and to figure out where you can take the exam in your home country. Mostly the Goethe institutes are entitled to conduct test AS exams, uh, but there are some other authorities uh, depending on the country. So there is a complete list of countries um, a complete list of test centers given for each country. You can get this information from the website of Test AS, and you have to come up with at least 80 points with uh, in the mentioned subjects. Then you have to provide the proof of German language uh, that you are capable to do um, uh, to study in German language. This you will definitely do uh, if you are. Uh, you have studied a uh, student colleague, then you will uh, have to study German language also. Proof of financial resources. Now, there is one document at the website of university that you have to fill out. Um, uh, you or your parents have to fill it out that you have enough uh, resources to bear your expenses uh, during your studies. And you have to send a copy of your passport. The list doesn't end here. There are further documents like proof of completed online test on study orientation. Uh, this is one test. You can do it anytime. Uh, this will ask you some questions and you have to provide the answer of these questions. And based on the answers uh, of your question, uh, the system or this website will determine how suitable you are for studying medicine. You can do it um, anytime, as I said, and you have to write a letter of motivation. This letter of motivation has to be written in German language by the applicant and it has to be signed by the applicant. Uh, in this letter of motivation, you have to show your interest towards program uh, you are applying to and you have to uh, show how you are or why you are suitable for studying medicine at University of Heidelberg. Then you have to provide a written statement. This is valid only for those students if um, uh, who, who are currently studying maybe some other field, but they are, have later found out that uh, they want to study medicine. Then they have to uh, provide a written statement why they want to change uh, their field from some other field to medicine. Now, if the applicants have studied um, at a university or a, a high school or any institute uh, in Mongolia, Vietnam, and Republic, uh, People's Republic of China, then an additional document is required, which is called APS. You have to include this document during the step two of your application uh, when you send the, all the documents to the University of Heidelberg. Now you uh, know that uh, from another video uh, I have made, uh, which, is, which covers general information regarding medicine in Germany, which has the information that uh, there are only 5% seats reserved for international students. Therefore, you have to compete with very uh, large number of students, very good uh, profiles. Therefore, it's always uh, important that you have to, uh, that you have additional qualification which stands out, um, which helps you to stand out uh, from a large pool of applicants and how you can uh, make a better impression or how your application can um, make a better impression uh, is that if you do some training related to human medicine or dentistry, depending on whether you are applying for human medicine or dentistry, um, if it's possible in your home country during or after the completion of your schooling, 
you do complete some training that will help you a lot in the evaluation process or what you can do is you can take part in some practical in, uh, activity you can do some internship uh, with some uh, in some hospital or in some private clinic uh, and get some certificate again related to human medicine or dentistry depending on whatever you want to uh, study that will help you a lot in the application process or if you have done any volunteer work or did any certification that is relevant for your uh, field of studies uh, then do include it and uh, if you are like one year from now you will you intend to apply for medicine uh, now you have then one year of time uh, to do any of these activities uh, so that you can uh, your application can make a really good impression and you secure uh, an admission or a place at the university so i hope this will help you in uh, your application process if you have any question you can put it in the comment section and i wish you all the best for your uh, application if you like the video share it with your friends uh, because i know it's very difficult to navigate through all the websites and go through um, all the portals uh, to find and uh, dig the right information i have gathered all the information at one place so if uh, it will save a lot of time, a lot of confusion for you and your friends. So share it with your friends so that they can also get um, the benefit of uh, this uh, video. Thank you again.